Hey everybody, Kevin Mitchell here, and in this video today, I'm going to talk about fear and specifically how we can use fear before fear starts using us. And fear, I've done a couple videos on it before, and it's one of the most underrated powerful influence in everyone's lives. And the reason why it's so powerful is the fact that people don't admit and re honestly realize how much fear affects their lives on a day-to-day -day basis, affects who they're married to, or affects who, you know, uh, what jobs they have, or what jobs they didn't have, or who they didn't marry. And ultimately, we find excuses on why we don't do things. And one of the keys to fear, number one, is recognizing the excuses when you're not doing something when you're not accomplishing your goals when you're you know everything feels like you should make a move but yet you don't make that move it's like oh well you know so the timing's not just right or you know something i got my kids to think about i can't take on this new job and bullshit 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 uh, sometimes there's you know uh real reasons and some good reasons why you shouldn't do things but man nine times out of ten it's the fear that's holding you back and at the end of the day what are you scared of and that's why in the article that's associated with this video, it talks about, you know, figuring out what are musts in your lives because your conviction to achieve something, if you say, I absolutely positively must achieve financial freedom by 55 years old, then when you have that conviction, it's going to help you use that fear in a positive way. You know, when you're going in for overtime, when you're working at night, when you're taking on that second job, when you're quitting your nine to five job to go ahead and be an entrepreneur, to own something, to create something, to write a book, whatever it is, you know, maybe to even you'll play for a CFL team or whatever that is, whatever your goal is, you that you know commitment that when you, when it becomes a must, you can start you really channeling, using that fear and recognizing the excuses that fear really brings up. And it's like, oh, I don't want to, you know, for myself, it's I you know spent years avoiding getting in front of a camera, and it's like, you know, I don't need to use video for my business to spread the message, but ultimately. At the end of the day, I had to look back, look at it and say, you know something, Kevin, you are scared. You're scared of making videos. You're scared of what your friends and your family are going to say when you're sitting on camera saying something that they disagree with. Or maybe, you know, make fun of you because you're sitting there in front of your damn camera at your desk in your office. Uh, you know, I'm scared of, you know, looking dumb or saying something stupid. But at the end of the day, for me to recognize that fear, like, no, to get where I want to go, I want to sit there and provide some fantastic information, some unique perspectives to my community and help that community grow because I feel the world needs more people saying, you know, thought-provoking things and talking about thought-provoking subjects. But at the end of the day, if I don't recognize why I wasn't in front of the camera for the years I wasn't, then I'm never able to use that fear correctly and drive me to sit here and talk today. So uh, for yourself, uh, well, you know, number one, you have to you know, figure out and have that conviction on what you want to do so you can use fear correctly. Secondly, you're going to want to make sure that you recognize the bullshit excuses for, for what they are. It's like, ultimately, I'm just scared. I'm, all the rest of the stuff doesn't matter. I'm scared. And the moment you stop making excuses and recognize the fear, then is the moment you can take it head on. And lastly, is the fact that realize in business, in life, in no matter what you do, pain and failure are part of the process. By accepting it, say, you know, some, some videos that I'm going to shoot are going to be great. Some are going to be shit. Uh, you know, for, if you're writing a book, you might write your first book you write might be absolutely terrible. You might have to write your second or third book before it happens. You know, the list goes on and on, whatever it is. But realize your pain and your failure is what's going to teach you the most lessons. I mean, the best way to learn how to do something right is to learn all the right, right ways not to do it, not, not to do it right or to do it wrong. So that's part of your journey. You can always take education. There's short. There's you know fast tracks of certain things. But at the end of the day, if you cannot understand, recognize, and then use your fear as a motivating factor for what you're trying to achieve, you're going to feel like you're stuck in quicksand for your whole entire life and you're never going to be able to lead the, a life and achieve the type of success that you are deep down capable of doing. So you want to achieve success if there's certain things in your life that you haven't achieved yet that you're making excuses for, evaluate it, look yourself in the mirror, recognize fear, use it to start motivating you and driving you and you'll be amazed at the difference in results that you experience in all facets of your life. Talk soon.